Okay, in this question it's slightly different because we have half an ellipse. As you can see, we just have the top half of the ellipse. If we read the question, it says, we have a design for an umbrella based on a semi-ellipse having a major axis of 140. So my major axis is 140. Now, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my compass and I'm going to put 70 on my compass. Now, the reason I'm putting 70 on my compass is because that's half of 40 and that's going to give me my major auxiliary circle. I'm going to draw it all in, and once I've drawn that, sorry, I'm just going to move this. I'm going to draw in my major axis. So that's given me two points on my ellipse curve. The two points there for my major axis as follows. Now, the minor axis, it says, we have a minor axis of a she mill is shown. Now the minor axis is 80, that means that I need to draw a circle of 40 and if you can see they've actually shown us that here. They've gone up a height of 40 which is going to be half it. So I'm going to push 40 onto my compass and because they're concentric I'm going to use the same center point and go straight up. Now from that point I'm going to draw a vertical line. That's given me one point on my ellipse okay usually if it was a full we'd have a second point down here but because we're already drawn half an ellipse we have our point up here so i have three points on my ellipse i need to get the rest of my ellipse so i'm going to divide up my semicircle if you want in this question you could obviously do your full construction for a full ellipse however it's of no benefit to you at all um, you're better off just concentrating on your top half now my line, it cuts my major axis, where it cuts my major, go parallel to my minor. Cuts my major, parallel to my minor, cuts my minor, parallel to my major. Cuts my major, parallel to my minor, cuts my major, parallel to my minor, cuts my minor, parallel to my major, cuts my minor, parallel to my major. Now, that's after giving me my points on my circle. Sorry, on my ellipse. Yeah, again, let's make sure that every single point of your curve is included. I'm happy with it now. Okay, so that's giving me my ellipse shape. Now, next, we look at our question. It says, draw the given... Uh, design full size showing clearly how the centers of the four arcs are obtained. Now if we look at our four arcs we've got one, two, three, four, five divisions. So if we look at it here I've got 0 to 70 and half of that is going to be 35. I'm going to do the same on the other side 35. That's given me the one, two, three, four, five points. Now, if we look here, I've got a radius 35. So I know this is radius 35. I'm just going to minimize this a little bit just to move it out of my way for a second. And just going to move this up here. Okay, so I'm going to get my compass, and on my compass, I'm going to push 35 millimeters. I know that my arc is going to touch this point and this point. So I put a point to my compass here, swing an arc point to my compass here, swing an arc. That is my center point. And once we have a center point, lads, as we know, we draw a little cross to show exactly where it is. For our little cross, it must be even and accurate. And we always use our set scores. I put the point to my compass here, extend it up to the point, and that gives me my arc. We'll repeat this process three times. Lovely. And I'm just going to show my cross. Okay, so the next bit of our question, if we look here, is the stem of the umbrella. Now, we're told to come down for 70. So first of all, we're going to come down 70. Second, we're told here we have a radius of 10. Now, if we look here, we have a semicircle. So because it's a radius, we know we're going to have to measure in 10 to get our center point. So down 70 and in 10. 
Now, you'll notice that it's touching this point here. That is not a coincidence in this case because this was a radius 70 circle, so it's, it's right that they are touching. I'm measuring my 10. Yeah, again, lads, whenever we get a center point, we just indicate our little center point. Get my compass. And that's our full question drawn.